Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel the breathing process in the body. Let your attention settle there. And tell yourself you're going to stay right there. Watching the breath coming in, watching the breath going out. Try to notice whether it's comfortable or not. You can try longer breathing, shorter breathing, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter. Experiment to see what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. Take an interest in what's happening right here in the present moment. Because all the decisions in life that are being made that are really important are the ones in the present moment. The decisions you made in the past, you can't go back and undo them. As for the decisions you're going to make in the future, you're not responsible for those yet. You have to be responsible for what you're doing right now. And being with the breath gives you a good anchor for watching your mind. As the Buddha said, the mind, when trained, brings happiness. Chintang tantang su kawahang. So we need to train the mind. Train what? Train its intentions. And the only way you're going to train the intentions is if, if you can observe them in the present moment. If you plan to do something, why are you going to do it? What do you anticipate? What's your reason for doing it? The Buddha said if you act on unskillful motivations, the result is going to be pain. So you want to make sure that all the intentions that you actually act on are skillful ones, ones that cause no harm to yourself, don't mean any harm to anybody else. Those kinds of intentions, when you act on them, lead to peace. So that's what we're training, training the mind to be careful about what it's producing. You can think of the mind as being like a factory. It's churning up its products all day long, all day long, all day long. And if you don't have any quality control, you have no idea what's coming out of the factory. You want to make sure that everything that comes out is good. Because we live in a world where the things that come out through your thoughts, words, and deeds will come back at you based on the intention that sent them out to begin with. So you really want to be careful about what you're sending out. Any merchandise that's defective, you don't have to send out. Unfortunately, this kind of merchandise doesn't pile up in the factory. If you don't send it out, then it doesn't have any impact at all. So you're trying to train the mind so it feels good right be being right here in the present moment, so it can watch what the mind is doing in the present moment. We say that we take refuge in the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. And that means we try to develop the same qualities in our minds that they developed in theirs. The Buddha, the Sangha. And we do that by following the Dhamma. That's how we create a refuge inside. Because ultimately, the Buddha said, the self is its own mainstay. Who else is going to be your mainstay? Because it's inside that you really need some protection. Protection from your greed, aversion, and delusion. So you try to develop qualities of mindfulness, alertness, and the desire to do this well. Those kinds of intentions are going to be good for you. They provide a good solid foundation, good support for your happiness now and on into the future. So try to stay right here. Watch right here as much as you can. See what's coming out. And if anything is defective, you just toss it off to the side. Anything that's really good, okay, you can act on it. That way your factory starts producing happiness, both for yourself and the people around you. <laughs>